Pediatric lupus really is slightly different than adult onset 10 years earlier. Children are not small adults, but specifically for lupus, the kids have a slightly different disease. The kids who get it not only have more years of burden with disease, but they typically have more extensive disease, more severe disease. I have talked to families with children who have lupus nephritis, and one of their great fears is that maybe this flare is under control, but the kidney is only functioning at 80%. After the second flare, it's only functioning at 70%. What happens after flare number three? How can we ensure that their child doesn't go on to dialysis? How can we improve recognition of lupus nephritis so that treatment can be instituted earlier so that they don't have to face that? No parent wants their child to go on dialysis. We were really motivated to develop a non-invasive test for lupus nephritis for two reasons. One is by the time the traditional tests of lupus nephritis are positive and you see evidence of kidney involvement, the kidneys are already damaged. Our idea is to let kids and families of children test themselves at home as a way of monitoring their own kidney function. If you can provide early treatment before the kidney is very inflamed, you can probably get away with less burdensome treatment and you would spare the kidney over time. If you think about the last 10 years, it has seen the development of very targeted therapeutics, and we need to be able to exploit that knowledge and use it to stratify patients who will benefit from specific drugs and develop new drugs using that same template, but drugs that are even better for lupus.